Greetings and welcome to Moritz Workshop channel. Today we'll talk about the Witcher game, the first one. We already made a short video about our hopes for Witcher 4 and also about aspects which we did like on the previous games, but mostly from the viewpoint of game mechanics. Now let's talk about visuals, closing, armors, buildings. Are they practical? What atmosphere do they create? Usually we discuss soldiers, kind of more epic stuff. But for now let's focus on more mundane and ordinary characters. Civilians. Villagers, citizens, craftsmen, they are the majority of society. So how do they look like in the first Witcher game? Let's leave the citizens of Vizima for another topic and now cover the country folk. First we will encounter the Vizima outskirts, which is pretty historically accurate. In many fantasy settings the cities are isolate, they are enclosed by walls and in front of them there is just wasteland, which is unrealistic and it wouldn't be like that. With the city you won't have just empty plain outside the walls, you would have farms, gardens, workshops, many houses just next to the city. And in the time of danger, those people living there would seek shelter and safety behind the city walls. Then you have a village of murky waters on the other side of the lake. How do the inhabitants of those two locations look like? And how do they compare to medieval references? Of course the graphics are a little bit dated and the models are simpler, but still look pretty decent. Many times you can encounter boxers or ruffians dressed just in a hood and underpants. Well, it's maybe an unusual model, but actually, why not? The hood looks pretty nice. In this scenario, it will be most definitely made just of linen. The weather is obviously warm, so no wool needed. And the underpants looks almost identical to iconography of 13th century. Then you have a kind of beggar character. Rash tunic and pants, sandals, just rope instead of a belt and some vest or sleeveless overcoat. Only thing which looks like a little bit artistic is that huge pouch on the neck. Otherwise, again, it makes perfect sense. Then you have a like classical peasant characters. Simple shirt and pants, boots and belt. Personally, I would definitely add some headwear. Simple bag hat like this or maybe some linen coif or definitely in the summertime some straw hat or any combination of those. And basically that's for a man. Simple but nice models, sometimes diverse by different colors. And the different color patterns are there also for the women. Mainly we have a model of simple dress or shirt with long or short sleeves. With that skirt and lace bodice. And then you have a different combinations and variants of this basic model. To that simple light shoe and that's great. In Czech Witcher community you have a really nice cosplayer Jana Dobiasheva which is a good presentation of this country girl. With this game visual I'm again missing some headwear, even a simple scarf or straw hat. Otherwise it is pretty close how medieval country woman was portrayed. Last but not least we have a character of old lady. Some skirt, shirt or tunic, apron, headscarf and some cloak. Pretty functional and complex. Those are the most common characters or models which you will encounter many times. Then you have more of a special ones which you will encounter just a few times or just once. Some of them are really well designed. For example Julian in Murky Waters. He has a longer tunic, tight pants, light shoes and a belt. And he has a headwear. Then there are some less practical models, like Havekar Harenbrock. 
leather vest on naked torso. But on the other hand, there are people who walk dressed like that today. So, nothing too crazy. All in all, the design of country folk in a first Witcher game is pretty functional and nice. It is inspired both by history and modern fashion. It creates nice atmosphere of medieval-like countryside, calm and peaceful, until something bad happens. And of course, because we are in a Witcher world, something bad always happens. This was a react video about commoners in a first Witcher game. Hope you find this informative, give us a like, subscribe and we will continue to make more videos about visuals in Witcher games.